Hello everyone and welcome back to Jax Does Homestuck. My name is Jax, aka Jackie. I switched those around. Apparently I identify more with Jax than I do with Jackie now. Food for thought. Also, someone recently called me Soshi, which is like mind blowing. So if you want to test that out, that's cool too. I honestly go by whatever names, pretty much. <laughs> So, uh, today we're supposed to be talking about Pester Quest, but I guess I'm just going to talk about my deep self-identity issues. No, um, Pester Quest. So, Route 3 is out, and it is Dave, everyone's favorite. Uh, so there was some controversy around it being Dave. I say controversy, it wasn't that deep, yo. But, so, we all assumed it was going to be Dave, because it looks like they're going in order of appearance from Homestuck, and Dave was the next natural step. But we got a tease that it was going to be Caliborn and people were excited. I say people were excited. Probably there were a lot of people not excited, but I am, uh, I say I'm friends with Teeb. Teeb, we're friends, right, Teeb? I don't think you listen to this. So I'm just going to say we're friends with Teeb and Teeb's not here to uh, tell me I'm wrong. So I'm friends with Teeb, who is very much loves Caliborn, and if you've seen Caliborn art, you've probably seen Teeb's art. So, Teeb was very excited for Caliborn, and a lot of other people were very excited for Caliborn. Like, there's this whole joke, like, oh, all six Caliborn fans are excited, but there was more people being excited than that. I mean, I was excited. I'm not even, I'm growing to love Caliborn a lot more than I have. And honestly, this is happening for a lot of characters that I didn't really care about before, or even characters I actively disliked before. But, um, yeah, Caliborn is hilarious and great. And, um, and yeah, so I was excited for there to be a Caliborn episode. And I really liked the switch up. People were like, oh no, it was supposed to be Dave and now it's Caliborn. But like, it's Homestuck. You never know. And then, of course, it was revealed that it is actually Dave. And um, I, I'm not here to comment on Twitter drama. This is not this podcast, I hope. I hope I don't turn it into this podcast. Oh, God. I don't want to weigh in on Twitter drama too much, except to say that those of you who were excited for Caliborn and then found out they were just teasing you, uh, like, it's, it's legit for you to be upset. Like, obviously, I'm not encouraging anyone to go out and harass people or anything. Like, that's shitty. But I get it. Like, I mean, I was kind of sad, too, because I thought Caliborn would have been a good twist. Um, but I also don't put a lot of stock in what people say is going to happen in Homestuck until the thing actually happens. Because I'm not big-brained like that, and I just let the writers feed me. Um, so speaking of writers, I forgot to mention in the last episode who the writers and stuff were. So James Roach, I think, is doing all the music for Pester Quest. Um, and that includes the songs from last week, or I'm saying last week, from two weeks ago. And, uh, the songs from this week. And, uh, last week it was, uh, Hussey who wrote John and Aisha who wrote Rose. This week, James Roach is getting his first writing credit and he wrote Dave. And it's really, really good. I'm very excited about it. Um, and it's also been confirmed that Dave Roach is going to write Aradia. Uh, and that Aisha is also writing Carcat. Um, I think it's been confirmed that Trace is writing um, Jade. But I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't keep up with it as much as I should. I just happen across stuff. Um, so that's very exciting. So James Roach wrote this Dave route and I really really liked it uh I like how he took it it's very very meta not the whole way through but there are some very like calling out parts um that's just like recognizing that yes this is a person writing this route and stuff like that which I mean it's it's pester class it's it's friend sim basically and they do stuff like that and um I like it uh, I, I saw one or two people who didn't like it but I think overall it was pretty positive that we liked the whole meta thing that James Roach did and he is so goddamn funny it it was a really really well written route and I'm not just saying it because it's Dave I may just be saying it because it's Dave no <laughs> uh, I mean it, it would be hard to disappoint me with a Dave route to be honest it's hard to disappoint me with Homestuck um 
maybe that's bad. Maybe I should get some better standards. I don't know, but it was really fun and I appreciate it. So um, we went back to having all the regular uh, ends that we usually do rather than that weird thing with roses route. In the first quick bad end is the best thing. So I did it first um, and I loved it. I, I almost didn't want to play the rest of the route just because the first, like the bad end, the first end you can get is so freaking good because what you do is you send Dave down a spiral of uh, gay panic, I guess, like where he just freaks out like, oh God, do I like John? Do I like John? Do I like John? I can't like John because I also like Jay. Do I like John? It's very, very good. And I'm very disappointed with MSPAR being like, I don't want to be a part of this. I'm going to go. Dude, be a part of it. Be a part of it. Um, so that's very good. John Dave writes here in 2019, which is wonderful. Um, as you guys should know, if you've listened to my Gay Stuck episodes or almost any time I bring up any of these three characters, I am John Dave Cat forever. Partially because I can't choose between ships I like the most. I actually have a shipping chart where I, I have everyone I ship together and I say all of these happening at the same time because <laughs> that's just what I like. I like everyone being together at once, but especially John Dave Cat. They all each have two hands. It's not about both of them liking Dave. It's not about two of them liking uh car cat it's not about two of them liking john it's about them all liking each other a whole fucking lot but that's neither here or there because car cat's literally not in this episode <laughs> um so and uh so we go on with that the second bad end we get um is i really really liked it because i might have mentioned in the last episode i've know I've, I've talked to people about it but everyone has been kind of expecting like, oh, we see MSPAR getting all up in like John and Rose's business about like, hey, is your family life OK, though? Because I'll totally do something about it. And in Rose's route, he like throws away all of the alcohol, basically, which Rose is like, this probably won't help, but I appreciate it. Um, and so you see him start to do that. I say him. MSPAR isn't a him. Why do I do this? Um, but so you see them start to do that with Dave and Dave's like a fucking excuse you. Are you really just coming up into my house and telling me I have a shit life? And I think it's really good. I don't think at this point in time, Dave is in a place where he can, uh, acknowledge the shitty things going on around him. Like he's not conscious of it yet. He's not in a place where he can like, feel bad about it yet because he's living in it and uh it's it's very good and i like that that dave just basically shuts you down and says stop sticking your nose in your business you don't fucking know me it's very very good even though we have plenty of uh evidence that dave's home life is not great um and so that ends with you trying to you end up sneaking up on on Dave trying to zap him away somewhere I'm not sure what the point of that was but that's what you're trying to do and throughout this bro has made his presence more and more known I think once you start getting antagonistic about Dave's home life is when he pops in but when you are sneakily trying to touch Dave that's when bro fucking throws you out a window while you are trying to figure out if he is a uh, hunk or a, tw a twink. And you come to the conclusion that he is in fact a twunk. So canonically, bro is a twunk. Um, just so you all know. So I, I think that's really interesting because I, I don't want to get too sad stuck on here. I do think that this was bro like trying to protect Dave in a way um, rather than necessarily just like, yeah, don't fucking zap this dude away. But I don't know. I don't want to get too into that on here because that can be a very heated topic and that's not what this is about. I just thought it was an interesting route and I like how we ended 
trying to figure out if uh, Bro was a twink or a hunk. And uh, so the good route is going to get a little sad stuck. Because <laughs> the good route is very, very good. Um, and like we get that good, good apple juice. We get the confirmation that yes, Dave hides food throughout the entire house and we don't want to think about that too much. And, um, and yeah, I, I know there's a whole lot I'm forgetting about these, but I'm also trying to keep this under 30 minutes, preferably towards 15. And I end up talking about a lot of other shit besides this. But basically, the end goal of this is you are proving to Dave that you can just, like, teleport anywhere. And um, uh, after Dave, like, subtly implies that he's going to beat the shit out of you if you're, like, fucking with people. Oh, I cannot forget that because of this, because of this line of thought where, like, Dave is threatening to beat the shit out of you for lying, basically, um... MSPAR has a fucking breakdown and cry types while coming clean, and it is my favorite, and I can't wait to voice it. I mean, I did kind of voice it in the stream, which you can find on my YouTube page, linked below. Um, I do stream them every Wednesday. This Wednesday I did it a lot later because everything was going wrong this Wednesday, and I was very sad. Uh, you can always find my breakdowns about sad things that happen to me in a daily day life on my Twitter Dirkification. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that was very good. And that was one of the times where, so we, several times during this episode, we got like hints about MSPAR subtly remembering stuff that happened in Friends. And for this one, MSPAR says that they just start confessing to things that they never did. And Dave's like, yeah, I don't think you helped a teen burn down a mall or killed someone with your ass. And it's like, oh, no, they do remember. It's in there. Oh, God. Oh, God. I am so sad. Um, so props, props to James Roach for that shit. Um, James Roach also did a stream of this on Twitch, uh, which I started to watch. I watched the very beginning of it. But then, I don't know, sometimes after streams, I get a bit like frazzled and um, sensory overload type shit. But anyway, so it was probably good. So check it out. I just can't say for sure it was good because I didn't watch it. But it was probably good. So go watch it. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so you're proving your abilities to transport people anywhere. And so you say, hey, Dave, think about wherever you want to go. I'll leave this up to you. I'll let you be the guide here and just kind of like expand your mind. And you're like flashing through a bunch of these different scenes. And the ones we see clearly are places we've already been to but people did their hacker thing like they do and they got the screenshots that were like kind of in between those and we got to see some other shit i already forgot what that other shit looked like because i glanced at it for two seconds and said maybe i don't want to see this until we actually see it i don't know i'm always confused about how i want to do that if i want to look up stuff that people have dug out where i just want to wait for things to happen and while this was technically shown to us it wasn't really shown to us so that that's up to your discretion um anyway so but where dave takes us to is motherfucking olive garden so that's great um because dave's like yeah fuck yeah they have when you're here your family they have breadsticks free breadsticks and so you sit down and eat some motherfucking breadsticks and dave cries out eating breadsticks and that's great and then james roach confirmed what everyone was thinking is like Yes, Dave loves Olive Garden's free breadsticks because it's unlimited free food. And he does not get a lot of it. I just need to feed the Durst kids, okay? God, James. Um, but what's really great about the uh, Olive Garden scene was in the background there were um, there were people. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was an Olive Garden, so there were people. But there was, like, Aisha and Kat with E-Boy Hussey looking in the window. And there was uh, Taz. And uh, there were other people I don't know because I don't actually know anyone in Homestuck. Or associated with Homestuck. And I don't know what anyone looks like. 
I only know the three people or the four people I mentioned because they were confirmed and also Hussey was kind of obvious. Um, but apparently vast error people were in there and other people were in there and I'm sorry, I am just not up to it when it comes to Homestuck people. But I'm sure they'll be very nice for those of you who like know those people and know what they look like. It was cool. For me, they were just background characters and oh, I've been told that that's Aisha, Cat, and Hussey. So. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it was, it was very neat. Uh, the backgrounds are really good. Dave's sprites were so fucking good. I need to start making a list of everyone who works on this so I can at them and shout them out and stuff. But you, you should be able to um, see that stuff pretty easily. And um, they make it pretty obvious. It's in the credits and everything. But uh, Dave's sprites were so good. His embarrassed sprites were, run were wonderful. His animations were good. How he kept moving his hands and stuff all the time was really good. Um, it was really good is what I'm saying. It was really good. <laughs> so it's um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, going through the route was a lot of fun. I... I did literally almost quit after the first end because I didn't think it could get better. I knew it could, obviously, but there was definitely some. This is all I wanted from this route. <laughs> so, uh, so that's, that's great. So Jade's route, as far as we know, is going to be the next one. At this point, I don't think they're going to switch it up. But again, it's Homestuck. Who knows? Um... And I have some theories of how we're going to get to Alternia after that. My biggest theory is that Carcat or someone else is going to be harassing Jade and MSPR is going to be like, the fuck you thinking messing with my friends? And then zapping to wherever they are and ending up on Alternia. Um, that's my theory. I don't know. It could be anything. It could be anything. So <laughs> that's, that's just what I think might happen. I still can't have many thoughts about what this means for the timeline or anything like that, because obviously if Homestuck, as we know it, if Esperb doesn't happen, then these kids literally shouldn't exist. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so it's really, it's really hard to, Hard to say what's going on, and I'm just going to let what pumpkin feed me. Um, so that's that. I think that's that's the big things. I know as soon as I ended the last one, I thought of things I should have talked about, and I know that's going to be the same as soon as I finish this one. Um, really, it's just appreciation for James Roach, appreciation for the people who did the sprites and the backgrounds, and just the people who work on this forever and always. Appreciation for what Pumpkin and Andrew Hussey and everyone. I love you all so much. <laughs> and appreciation to Abby, who is now going to be making my art for my episodes because I guess I've been so tragic at it that they're like, no, no, let me. <laughs> so that's very good. So, um, so yeah, look, look forward to better episode art from now on. Uh, next week, we will be having Phil come on to talk about ancestors. Uh, Phil is uh, Homeric Horror on Twitter. So Homeric like homer -ic. Um Because Phil is big-brained about shit. So that's very exciting. It's going to be about a specific ancestor project that they have. But I'm going to save the details for the episode. Uh, for my patrons, it... <sighs> Probably won't be coming out until Monday because I think we're going to be recording tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Also for patrons, I'm sorry you never get these episodes early. I really want to give them to you early. I just keep forgetting to set reminders. I forget to forget to forget. Um, no, uh, so I just end up doing these last fucking minute. Um, but yeah, I, I do have some more patron awards on there. Um, I have more Patreon levels. If you have a specific reward or level that you want on there, let me know. That's how we got the $15 level. Because uh, Abby was like, hey, make this. And I said, okay. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I, I should, I think I'm going to have a, a bonus patron episode for next week. Um, yeah, also, oh, I forgot. I know this is the end, so I should have said this at the beginning, but I completely forgot. This is our first episode with the new music made by the lovely Domino Thief on Twitter. Or Dami, as I like to call her. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so thank you for that new music. Um, I, I, it's really cool. I am really happy with it. Um, and this wasn't Dami saying your music sucks. I'm making you more. This was just me having a friend who makes good music and them doing stuff for me because they love me. Uh, yeah. Anyway, follow me on, uh, Twitter. Jax does HS for updates specifically about, the episodes and some other uh, Homestuck projects uh, going on. I try to retweet those to there so you guys are aware of them. Follow me on my main Twitter, Dirkification, um, as in the process of turning into Dirk, <laughs> which I uh, talk about on Twitter because that's my life. Uh, I also have a new Ask account. I keep wanting to say Ask blog, but this isn't Tumblr. I have a new Ask account, Ask Tizius. I got the at, I guess no one else is doing this. So ask me questions on there um, and I will answer them. I have a few up there and I'm gonna start doing more, um, more of the daily curious cat questions you get. I'll try to do those. So uh, ask Tizius whatever you want and um, I'll respond. And um, I don't know, I have other accounts. You can find them on Turkification. I have uh, website jackstashomestuck.com where you can find most of my content and I need to update that website because I forget it exists until I make episodes to talk about them. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, I have a YouTube, like I said, that's Jackstas Homestuck. I, I have a lot of things. You can find them linked on my Twitter or on my website. Um, so go check all that out. Please join my Discord. It's getting a little bit more active lately, but we could always use your help with that. Um, and I'll keep you updated on other projects I'm in. And uh, the, there, there's promos for other projects you can get involved in on there. It's very exciting. Join my Discord. Please talk to me. God, please talk to me. Um, but yeah, uh, next week I should actually be getting a bonus episode up. I actually need to start scheduling that today. So that should be our first uh, character focus, problematic uh, favorite character episode. So check that out when it comes out in a week. <laughs> uh, anyway, again, I've spent more time rambling than I have talking about Dave, it feels like. So I'm sorry, but apparently you guys like it because I've received no complaints as of yet. And this is just how this podcast works by now. Uh, anyway, happy bisexual day coming up in two days. I think it is the 23rd. So love bisexuals always and forever. Goodbye. <laughs>